science is struggling to understand the nature of reality despite of all the deeper insights and understanding and mathematical formulas and geniuses still we are nowhere close to describing the accurate nature of the universe we are very far away why because the foundation is the problem the foundation is this assumption that we are living in empty space and everything is there by chance that is why in our scientific investigations there is no involvement of the individual there is no involvement of consciousness science is purely objective the inner is not taken into consideration that is why we are not able to accurately fit everything together that is why there is a need for so many different concepts so many different theories if you can experience stillness and there is no necessity for space and time that also means that things don't exist by chance there is a conscious living entity that is dreaming everything up the universe is being dreamt into existence things don't just come about by chance it is a product of desiring and you can see desire in everything existence does there is a desire to be there is a desire to multiply there is a desire to heal if you take away desire from existence and say it's all happening by chance nothing will make sense why do animals give birth if you take away desire to give birth what is the necessity to give birth why does a plant flower and fruit without a desire we cannot see this desire because it is desire it is not a physical thing and just because we cannot see it doesn't mean that it isn't there we are able to see the manifestation of this desire everywhere and one of the grand grandest manifestations of that desire to be to create to live is a human being because everything that is happening in the universe is happening inside a human being a human being is a microcosm he is a complete universe in miniature and the same desires of the universe are within him but they only appear slightly different because we are so tuned to recognizing change that is happening within us we try to measure everything based on the change that is happening here within us that is why for a very long time we had believed that the earth doesn't move well yes it doesn't move relative to your body because that's how we are measuring change we are not taking into consideration the fact that time for me can be very different from time for the earth what is one year for me might actually be just a few seconds for the earth so to be able to see the earth moving i need a bigger time frame and why earth even look at a plant you can sit and look at a plant all day and you will not see it changing you will not see it moving but you come back after a few days after a few months it has grown but the time frame is different in your lifetime you might grow maybe 5 feet 6 feet but a tree can grow hundreds of feet its time frame is different 
your time frame is different because you are measuring change from you if something isn't changing on the outside if you are not able to record the change you simply call it dead there's nothing there and that is why the quietest parts of existence the stillest part of existence the most silent part of existence for us is dead nothing is happening there deep space nothing is happening in deep space well a lot of things are happening but they're happening very slowly they're happening on a completely different time scale that is why you're not able to record universe is breathing but each breath maybe it takes a million years for it to take one breath you're not able to see it for all you know what you call an expanding universe might just be the recording of one breath of the universe you have not yet seen the contraction phase because your time frame is different from the time frame of the universe see we don't think like this we don't think in terms of breaking all the limitations and looking at universe as a living breathing entity because we compare it to our individual lives and we are unable to see things beyond our deep rooted conditioning for us everything is theoretical conceptual so it is natural to say oh it's all chance you know what a statement how significant a statement it is and how depressing a statement it is to say that you're here just by chance there cannot be anything more depressing than that there's no purpose there's no meaning nobody wanted me here i just happened by chance firstly that statement does not make any sense because there's so much that is happening within you that cannot simply happen by chance there is something keeping you alive there is something that is wanting you to be alive that is why when you hurt yourself the healing is happening if you were just a chance there's no necessity to heal there's no necessity to preserve you well the body is damaged discard it create a new one but no life holds on because you're not a chance just like you are not a chance you you have not happened accidentally existence also has not happened accidentally there are no accidents in existence what we are observing is a vastly intelligent conscious process the nature of it is hidden within us to really understand what is movement what is change because that is what we are actually trying to understand when we are searching for life we are basically searching for that thing that moves things for us life is movement we are not going into space searching for pure life that you cannot even recognize we are searching for life forms we are searching for animation in existence we want to know if there is a creature that can make decisions for itself that can stop when it wants to that can move when it wants to unlike a planet which has no say in how much it has to move that is the recognition when i can see a creature making a choice on its own whether to move or not to move in the outer physical realm or in the mental realm that is where i see life life is basically that choice to move or not to move 
you cannot understand movement without knowing stillness and stillness cannot be known you have to experience it one moment of stillness reveals more about what life is than all our theories and concepts in that moment of absolute stillness you will know something about yourself and you will also know some, something about the universe you will intuitively know what is allowing for life to happen 